to an fish rodent coil experiments. Um, today I'm going to try to use the rodent coil as a pickup coil. Um, what I did was I uh, took some uh, an RCA jack from headphones and uh, cut them and put clip leads on them and now I'm hooking up um, uh, the right channel to the primary and the left channel to the secondary um, so that basically we have <laughs> stereophonic sound here from the two different pickups. Um, it's coming into a tape player which I've sort of pushed in to be in record mode. I'm just using it like a convenient little amplifier and then over to some PC speakers which I will turn up. Uh, the first thing I wanted to show you is um, if I take these uh, neodymium magnets and uh, here so if I take these these magnets and put them near the coil and if I, and if I create a steady flux um, then this thing becomes like a radio receiver um, the steady flux probably changes the inductance it brings this uh, thing up the BH curve, the inductance changes and um, we get basically almost like radio reception so this is like static from radio now obviously um, a vibrating magnet would make a sound as well and um, I can actually tap the magnet with my hand and those vibrations are picked up. If I put the magnet on the side of the can, you can actually hear the, uh, the scraping across the wires. Now with just my hand, with just my hand here, which has a little bit of uh, electromagnetism in it from my um, my chi <laughs> or whatever it is um, I can touch the wires you hear a I'll turn the volume up more there's a slight pickup but not very much now I'll put the magnet on here again dramatic pickup so the, the the magnet of course is uh, vibrating as well and causing a, um, a more intense uh, field that can be easily picked up by the coil so it's like a rodent drum here Um, if I yell into it, you probably won't hear my voice because the, there's not a diaphragm here to pick up uh, sound too well. It's only a mechanical sound, but you can hear me kind of touching the wires and things. Pull, pull the magnet off. Uh, the tape recorder has a spinning motor in it. Now if I put the corner of this tape recorder into the, uh, into the hole as close as possible, that seems to be the most intense pickup area. Um, now this light switcher on the wall is um, running these fluorescents up here. If I put the rodent coil sort of slowly towards it and uh, while I'm doing this I can sort of feel the energy in my hand so I don't want to get too close because this is 120 volts AC that, and I don't want a inductive couple to that switch uh, to, but basically there's a 60 cycle hum here okay so I mentioned uh, I need a diaphragm so here is uh, a the top of a jar I'm going to place the magnet on it like this and whoops <laughs> now 
if I turn the volume up a little bit higher, there's a, I can actually make a feedback. Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Very sensitive microphone here. It doesn't work as well in this direction. Because you actually want the mic you want the magnet uh, oscillating in here. Okay, that's it.